Simplicity 9596 is up next and I want to make view A which is this view here. I really like how it's a little bit wider on the bottom and it has pockets so love that and I plan to use this fabric here. I believe this is seersucker and I just purchased this from Joanne Fabrics. I was cutting out the pattern pieces and I noticed that the bodice for view A is different from the bodice for view B. So this is the bodice for view A and this is the bodice for view B. And what I did is I placed the front and backs on top of each other and I lined up the neckline area. So this is A on top of B. And what I noticed is that B is a little bit wider. So you have more of the pattern over here and it's the same on the back piece. So when I lined up the neckline area, I noticed that the back has more pattern over here. So the bodice for view B is wider than the bodice for view A. So I am going to go ahead and use the wider bodice and I will fold this up and put it away. So my dress is going to be view B with the skirt from view A. The other thing that I'm planning to do is to make this bodice sleeveless. So I want this look with the wider bodice. So that's why I'm gonna use this bodice, but I'm going to leave the sleeves off and attach it to this skirt. My fabric is only 45 inches wide and I did purchase a little bit over three yards of fabric. And I'm cutting out the bodice first. And what I love is when pieces are cut on the fold. So the bodice piece, six and seven are cut on the fold and then one of the skirt pieces piece number three is cut on the fold there are two skirt pieces you have the front and back pieces the same which is number three and number four is the side front and side back and this is the piece that's not on the fold and then you also have pockets so love love that and did I already say that this is rated as easy? I can't remember, but yeah, it is. It's rated as easy. So hopefully this won't take long to make. And I really love this fabric. And by it being cotton, it should be easy to sew with. So that's cool. This does call for woven fabrics. There is a t-shirt on the pattern and of course that will be calling for knit, but the dress itself is calling for wovens. You know what? My husband and I got invited to a wedding this year and I haven't been to a wedding in years. I don't even remember the last wedding I went to, but it was a long, long time ago. So I was walking around my closet or looking in my closet trying to figure out what I could wear and most of the dresses that I like that I feel like I could wear to a wedding a lot of them are black and just me personally I don't really want to wear a black dress to a wedding I would prefer to wear something lighter in color so that may mean that I'll have to make something I have a couple of dresses that mm, I could wear but I don't know if I want to so I'll see what happens I may be making a dress for a wedding and if I am I will keep you posted because we haven't really decided if we're going to the wedding or not just because timing but I'll keep you posted and it should be fun if we do go so I am cutting out an extra small in this dress and I just realized I was going to mark one of these dots but it's for sleeves so I don't need to mark that dot. But there is a dot down here I will mark. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these pattern pieces out and start sewing up this dress and keep you posted on the progress. I've attached the front bodice to the back bodice in the shoulder area and there is going to be some bias tape that goes around the neckline and also around the armhole and I'm just going to use this half inch bias tape and I'm using it in this color because that's just what I had. So I'm going to go ahead and 
apply this and I did do some stay stitching around the neckline as the directions suggested. Here is the bodice with the bias tape applied around the neck edge and also around the armhole. I'm just going to put this on my dress form to kind of hold it there for me while I work on the skirt portion. So that's how it's looking in the back and this is how the armhole is looking. It comes down kind of low but that's that. So as I was sewing the bodice, I was using my iron like I normally would. I'm pressing open the seams and then I'm pressing and ironing around the neckline and the armhole openings. And then something just said, oh, maybe I should look up how to take care of seersucker fabric. And one of the first things it said was do not iron your seersucker fabric. I was like, oh, wow. So anyway, it did say that part of the puckers in the fabric give the fabric its charm. And I was like, okay, I can see that. But one a good thing it did say is that if you need to refresh the look, that you can use the steam setting on your iron or on your dryer. You have four pieces for the sides of the skirt. You have two side front pieces and two side back pieces. And I am about to stitch the pockets on. So I just placed and pinned the pockets along each side edge and now I'm about to go ahead and stitch the pockets down. The pockets have all been sewn on and I did some under stitching and also surged around the raw edge and then you just take two side pieces and put them together. So I have this side already pinned and once they're pinned together you just stitch from the top around the pocket and down the side. So I'll do the same thing for this one and then the same thing for this side. On the side front side back pattern piece in the pocket area you will notice that there is a fold line right here on the pattern piece. So I transferred the dots here onto my fabric and between the dots is where the fold line is supposed to be. And I didn't draw it in or anything, but I just needed to remember that there's a fold line here in between here, according to the pattern piece. And so now that the pockets are sewn on, the directions say to fold the side piece on this fold line and then press it. And then that's going to make a crease and then that will be your pocket. So now you have your two side pieces with the pockets attached. Then you have your skirt pieces, which we haven't done anything with yet. And you have two of these. One will be for the front of the skirt, one will be for the back of the skirt, and then they will be attached to the side pieces. So you're going to take one side piece and place it in the middle, and then you have one front and back piece on the side and that's going to be attached to the side piece and then you take the other front and back piece and place it on the other side and attach it here. Then once you sew all this up you'll have one whole piece and then you take your other side piece and attach it the same way and it will attach to this piece and it will attach to this piece once you flip everything over. So next is to put your gathering stitches in your skirt and I've done that here and then you're going to take your bodice and put right sides together so I will put this in here and then I'm going to match the side seam of the bodice with the side seam of the skirt and I may need to adjust my gathers if I didn't gather enough or if I gathered too much but I will put these together and sew it all up to make it one piece. So after I sew the bodice to the skirt, the next thing for me to do will be to hem the dress. And I do think that this was pretty easy to put together. I think I want to wear this with some comfortable shoes like some type of sneakers. In my mind I think that would be like so so cute. But I could also see this being worn with some sandals. So right now I'm doing a one inch hem. I'm just pinning the hem up. And I did try the dress on and I really like it. The underarm does come down low so I did notice that my bra was showing. So that's just something to keep in mind if you decide to make this. But other than that I really 
like the way it's looking and I like the way it turned out. So once I put this hem in, I'll be able to show you what it looks like on. So I put on a t-shirt and you can see how low the underarm goes. And without the t-shirt, you can see my bra. But here is the dress. I am really, really happy with it. I like it a lot. And let me put my hands in my pocket so you can see how that looks. There we go. Ah, I think this is such a cute dress pattern. I love it. So there we go, an easy dress that you can wear in the summer, in the spring, with sandals or with sneakers. Yes.